Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here, welcome back to the savior of Skyrim. With Mimir many lives, who is rising from his seat at the dead man's drink, ready for a drum solo. Sven is also ready for a new day. He's been uh, learning a couple of tips from Delacorte over here, and uh, sorry about the mess, sorry about the killing, the murder. It's uh, quite a few things. We did make friends with our good friend oh, Dengar. I was Jarl. Who was Jarl once, apparently. Was Dengar does have a quest for us to do later, but we can't get it yet, so there must be some prerequisite we are not meeting, but... We'll be back for the old lads. How are you, Nari? Sure spoons. Handsome man in Falkreath. This handsome man is about to leave Falkreath behind because we have a lot to do today. The quest is clear. We are going north. We have Bloated Man's Grotto where we need to begin the hunt for Sinding, as given by her scene. We also have Moss Mother Cavern on the way where Runil, the priest of Arke here in town, his journal is supposedly located. But before that, Cabbage. The best way to start an adventurous day. The reason we're kicking up, kicking up, that's one way of collecting it. Want to see how you kick up cabbage? Puh! That's how. The reason we're picking up some cabbage is because we want to make some food, some vegetable soups. Whenever you go out to adventure, you can't adventure on an empty stomach. So, Corpse Light Farm has a little cooking pot for us to use. And I intend to make, we can make, ooh, so we do have some new foods I haven't cooked yet. Horker loaf, leg of goat roast. Venison stew, which is basically vegetable soup, but better. And nine veggie soups. Let's go with that. That's a good way to start us off. All right, Sven, out of the way. There is one shop in town that I've neglected to visit, which is terrible. I feel terrible. That is, of course, the apothecary. Grave Take concoctions. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not... Let me know. I might have it stored away. With Zarya. Now, the fun thing about Zarya is that she would have been able to give us the alchemy tutorial someone quest. New? Perhaps someone looking for me to mix something up for them? However, we did that quest at the Sleeping Giant Inn with Organar, so she's not going to be Don't able to ask us. Yes, all right. Falkreath's warriors always return, one way or another. Why name your store Grave Concoctions? I know, it's a bit strange. Not exactly a name to bring comfort to the sick and ailing who come to buy a poultice or salve. But what you must understand about Falkreath is that our town is defined, for better or worse, by the large and ancient cemetery here. That's why the inn is called Dead Man's Drink, the farm is called Corpse Light Farm, and so on. I suppose it's sort of a running joke. Hmm. Now, there aren't many red guards in Skyrim. What brought you here? Well, my family back in Hammerfell didn't approve of my interest in lethal poisons and death in general, so I left and wandered north. When I found this town, with its huge cemetery, I felt right at home. I opened the shop, and I've never looked back. This is where I belong. Close-minded people, huh? Until next time. Until next time. Now, Zarya does have quite a few interesting ingredients. Or... <sighs> Missed fire, bless me. And sometimes she turns her if back on... If either these on, lords or imperials had some red in their blood, this war would be over. On the Great Collapse, what a book. She's currently making potions, which means we have a couple of seconds now to take whatever it is we wish to take. Why can't I pick up this thing right here? Can I just want to get it? Thank you. Salt pile, ice wraith teeth. You know, just sampling the merchandise, you might say. That's what I would say in a court of law, and it would not... Hold up. Hag Raven Claw, Jaspe Grapes, some Death Bell, the Gourd will leave, Conjurer's Potion, Potion Extra Magica, Potion of Cure Disease, Frost Souls, Fire Souls, Salt Pile. Oh, this is so good. We're going to be able to put so many things in our mouth right now. We have some Rock Warbler eggs. That's cool. What's in the barrel? Snowberries. What's in the barrel? Fly Amanitas. And we just sent the Hag Raven Claws flying. Okay, she could be done making the potion any second now. Hag Raven Feathers. Frost salts. Good, 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 good. What else? Oh, yes, yes. I think I have all the boys' clothing, so I'm just going to be on the lookout for the girls' clothing. Girls' red dress. Uh, what do you got in your end table? Some gold we'll take. 
Oh, didn't mean to do that. That's it's okay. Girl's blue dress and green dress. Nice. And what's in your dresser? Fine clothes, merchant's clothes. I think we're good with that. Alrighty, and she's done. It's been a pleasure. I already have. Sven, I'm over encumbered. <laughs> what do you want me to carry? That, don't don't give us away. Act cool. I mean, you're always cool, Sven. All right. Now, Lead on. with that done, we can just about do the final preparations to leave. In the last one, we did buy the spell tome for Oak Flesh, which improves our armor rating for up to 60 seconds. So, tossing out this before going into combat is pretty useful. However, it does take quite a lot of magic uh, for such a novice magician, such as ourselves. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. We should really pop it like maybe 10 or 15 seconds before combat, just so that some of our magic I have regenerated. I also just want to meet Boland. A hearty welcome to Falkry. Aww. All of Skyrim's true sons are welcome here. He's the brother of the beardless wonder, Solaf, but I mean he's starting to grow a little something. You'll find my brother Solaf and I are the only true Nords in Falkry. Yeah. I mean, he was rather kind to me, but maybe that is because I'm a Nort. His brother was like, oh, don't go expect him both have to be your friend. Uh, but he was pretty decent. With that done, there is really nothing left on our to-do list for the day. Which means that we're just going to stop by Dead Man's Drink and I'm going to place away some goods. Yep, you're standing in... Oh, Dengar's making a mess now. Be mindful. Oh, don't talk my to me about your maid, Tikla. She can tickle my interest some other day. Right now, though, Sven, get in here. Dressers are generally safe containers to store things in. What do you want me to carry? So I am going to take everything Sven has, except for the pickaxe, the woodsman's friend, the torch, and the woodcutter's axe. But he does need some armor, and I want to, even though it's not his optimal armor. I want to see my boy in vampire armor. I'm not even going to give him a helmet. I want us to find something out in the world for him to use, because I just want this look right here. So he's going to carry these in case we need them at some point. He has a torch, and he has a weapon. All right. You lead, I'll follow. Ready to go. So, Mr. Fire bless me. If somebody sees me putting something away in this dresser, they're going to yell, so... I'm going to put away everything we won't need for the journey. Okay, we are now much lighter. As you can see, we just have the essentials with us. Still have some potions and poisons. Vegetable soup. I have a couple of ingredients I want to eat before we go. I have the book Lost Legends with me because I would like to read it when we get the occasion. And other than that, we are looking beautiful. Wow. We are ready for adventure. Before that, though, the first adventure is in my mouth. Fire salts, frost salts, giant's toe, high grade claw, ice red teeth, chest bag raised rock, warbler egg, and the scaly foliota. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. With that, we must. <laughs> that was a silent drum solo. I've heard about air guitar. He's playing air. Drums, but there's usually that doesn't it doesn't work. Do Handsome man in Falkry. I'll miss you, Nari. I'll miss you. You're the first person to ever compliment me in my life. So we'll be leaving. Sven, Sven, no, don't get any ideas. Don't get any ideas, Sven. Come on, come on. The road awaits us. Mistfire, bless me. So we are essentially just going to follow the road going north. And as the blacksmith Laud pointed out, Falkriath Hold is mostly wilderness. But of course, wilderness holds adventure. And while we are out traveling, there are plenty of things for us to talk about. Firstly, a goal that we need to update, and I just need to clarify a little bit. We have the gold friend of Skyrim, right? Which is to recruit every attainable follower. Now, a follower... I need to define that a little bit, because Sven is like a full-blown follower. I can Still here. ask him to trade, wait, do something for me, leave me. You lead, I'll follow. And 
he's he's the best. But there are also people that you get during quests, for instance, that will follow you for a certain period of time. I still consider those followers in this case, because, hey, it's my definition of the term. And back in Helgen, if we think back to episode one, you can see that we had to choose between Hadvar or Rayloff to follow. Now, when we went with them into the keep, they became our temporary limited follower for that time. Meaning we've already then had Rayloff as a follower. Zing! So we can increase that goal, which I really should have done back in episode one, but I didn't think about it before now. And it also means that we can't get Hadvar as a follower. Even if we join the Imperials, we'll never really get Hadvar as a follower. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's from that's how I understand it. And that also leads me to a very interesting point about my goals. The fact is that my goals are adaptable. They will change as the series goes on. Essentially, the list as it is right now is going to evolve. It's not until this series is complete that I will have fully gone through and mapped out like everything that's missable and how you can get all the different things. I'm going to fill it out, remove some things, add some things over time. And when I'm tracking a goal, like the hoarder goal or like the follower goal, I would just like to demonstrate how it works. Let's say that there are 100 rings in the game that we had to collect. And a quest comes up to you and says, do you want the red ring or the blue ring? And you have to choose. If we then pick the red ring, ka -ching! obviously we get one out of a hundred rings, right? But now we can never get the blue ring. And so I simply remove that from the maximum amount of rings obtainable, meaning we now have one out of 99 rings. That way, even though we are playing a complex game like Skyrim that locks things behind this mutual exclusivity, we can still do everything, according to my own definition. So that's how that works. Just figured I would let you know that Maik is here! What?! Maik wishes you well. Uh, Mimir wishes you... your swell, hey. Why do soldiers bother with target practice? One learns best by hitting real people. Ah, oh, you're a funny guy, Mike. Something strange happens to Khajiit when they arrive in Skyrim. <laughs> Mike has heard the people of Skyrim are better looking than the ones in Cyrodiil. He has no opinion on the matter. All people are beautiful to him. Mike is tired now. Go bother somebody else. Ah, Well, Mike gave us some solid rumors. First of many encounters with Maik. The liar. Don't trust the guy. You, Mr. Fox. I'm just gonna pop Oak Flesh. Why not? We're out traveling. Anything can happen. This is Skyrim. There could be farmers. This guy could rob me. You never know. There are dragons about, Traveler. Be warned. I know. I was at Helgen. Then you've seen them too. We lost our home. Livestock. We barely have enough gold to get by. Here you go. Thank you, traveler. Be safe, and don't forget to keep an eye on the sky. Thank you for your kindness. What is up there? Oh, we see some of the ruins up there. Keep an eye on the sky, Sven. You can see Sven just also just glancing up there in the middle of... Don't, don't push me into them as skeletons! Okay, skeletons. We can do skeletons. Fire at a skeleton. Probably not highly effective, but it does give us an ancient Nord sword and a petty soul gem. Alright. Who's next? <gasps> Skeleton fighting a wolf! That's so cool! That is cool. Alright, skeleton kill everybody. Add that to the list. Oh, I'm gonna add it to the list, you don't have to. Ancient Nord War Axe, though, and some bone meal from this knuckleheads. This was a nice little monument up here. Some nightshades. <sighs> the graves of Falkreath extend to the wilderness as well. Lavender. Is that something I've had before? Hmm. Hmm. Pretty good. All right. Uh, no. What is that? Is that a horse? Oh my god, is that a horse? What? Free horse? Why is there a free horse? 
This is a trap. Uh. Are you, oh wow! Oh, <laughs> he's seen some things. No, I'm. I haven't even touched the horse yet, and it's already despair. Sven, what do we do? Do, I mean. Oh, I, I'm just checking. You know, Sven, this, do we put him out of his? I'm not. You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna pretend I never saw anything. How about that? I'm just gonna act cool. We're just gonna walk away, Sven. <laughs> and with that, we're gonna do a big old mistfire. Bless me. I don't trust the game much. I don't trust the game much. Ah, would you look at that? The ruins right in front of us. Falkreath Watchtower. Once it used to guard the roads. Now, though, on this foggy, gloomy day, I think we will find that it has new occupants. Let's see if we can't clear it. Oh, look at the mountain over there. The silhouette is so good. Just the volumetric effects in general here are beautiful. All right. What do we have here? Wheel carts. That's pretty suspicious. Skulls. I knew it. <gasps> Voices. From the dark. Alright, I, I want a hotkey oak flesh because I never know when I might want it. <laughs> Miss Fire bless me. Let's go, Sven. Oh! <gasps> Necromancer! Frost spells. Good thing we're an ord. Mm. Okay. Sven, up these stairs. I need vegetable soup because I need to be able to bash his face. Ugh. Just like that. Mm. Mm. I mean, it seems to be working. You're not really doing much, are ya? You can raise people from the dead. How about you raise some courage? Mm. Are you okay? Are you sure you're okay? Are you sure you want to mess with me? Because Sven and I... Oh, really? Oh, that's a cute party trick. Healing! A novel idea. I wouldn't even need to heal. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... You clearly... He was clearly new at this. He was clearly new at this. I mean, that's a necromancer kill, I'll take it. Gold, ice red teeth, necromancer boots, ropes of minor restoration. <laughs> what a noob. Let's see here. I already picked up some ingredients on the way. That's beautiful. What's in the chest? Gold, portion of minor magicka, and a spell tome of healing. Good, we have the spell, but not the tome. Liminal bridges, the skill book. Sven, this is for you. Do you need? Read that. Okay, got it. Excellent. Anything else? I'm gonna read the Book of Daedra later. Could be an interesting read. Other than that, that is Falkreath Watchtower cleared. And a little soul gem for good measure. Yeah, <laughs> not too shabby. That's a good start of the day, though. If that's the kind of opposition we face on the roads, I have nothing to fear. Today, Sven. Today's gonna be our day. Miss Far bless me. Onwards we go. There are more things which we should discuss as we move through and deal with these wolves down here. Alright, we'll face. I wanna see if I can get the 20 destruction. I'm just gonna roast these boys a little bit. And that is the wax key perk in the security tree. Or, or rather in Skyrim, it's the lock picking tree. Essentially, when you reach a high enough lockpicking level and you invest in the perk Wax Key, whenever you pick a lock, you will also obtain a copy of the key that was used at the, in that door. Which in the base game doesn't necessarily sound super exciting, but for this challenge, that's bonkers good. That's why I wasn't pickpocketing everybody in Falkreath for their keys like I did in Riverwoods. Because I don't have to, I can just return at a later point when I have that perk, pick lock the doors and get the keys, which is insane. 
But it also, it brings up a very interesting point, because we have actually now walked by an item that I can no longer get, that was not even listed on the unofficial Elder Scrolls pages, but somebody pointed out that in Helgen, during this section right here, we could have, if I hadn't picked all the locks, I could have gone there with the wax key perk and gotten a copy of like the Helgen cell key, and that would then be a, a unique key that I can't obtain anywhere else in the game. Which, well, sure, would have been better. <laughs> If I'd known about it, but it not being on the list. Hey, Half Moon Mill discovered. So, yeah, this is a huge game with so much to collect. So, if you're interested in it yourself, now you know about it. I'll consider adding it to the list. But for now, that's not a an eligible item for us to get because it's out of the question. And so it doesn't count towards our completion. But thank you for just enlightening me on Wax Key and its. Very interesting side effects. So we're at Half Moon Mill. Here for work. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Sven. Sven vampire. Vampire Sven. Sven. Psst, Sven. Hurt. Half Moon Mill. Oh my. Why don't you stay a while? Okay, so Sven, we we got her surrounded. What locations does this mill supply? We supply Falkreath to the south. Until recently, we supplied Helgen. Felkreath trades with the surrounding holds, and without our wood, they would have trouble keeping their prices low. Uh-huh. You get many guests? We have guests as often as we can, but there aren't a lot of travelers these days. The war keeps people off the roads. I see. I'd better get going. Yeah, me too. Okay, so we have vampires running Half Moon Mill. Now, we can actually do a quest f oh, yikes, you know, I don't know if I want to stay here, but some, maybe some raw beef is an item I want. Bloody rags! I don't know if there are several varieties, perhaps not, but I'll take some. Venison, I do believe we have. Same with the troll skull. Yeah, we're not going to stay here much longer, but we can actually do a quest for Hurt, and that's by chopping some wood for her. Also, during the Dark Brotherhood, I do believe we are sent here to kill her husband? Or someone close to her. And if you do that and she catches you, she will be hostile and you can no longer do this uh, quest for her to chop wood. So, just something to keep in mind. In general, don't do the Dark Brotherhood until really, really late in the challenge. <laughs> or at least have a good overview of the consequences. There we go. I'll put the axe back, though. <laughs> Don't want to be accused of being a, a thief of all things. That'd be something. Perfect. Just to... Oh my god. Ants! 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 I have never noticed the ants before. That is so cool. I like ants. I don't like ants. But they're cool in their own way. Can I help you? They're fascinating. Uh, yeah. A guest? Oh my. My firewood to sell. Honest gold for honest work. All right, quest complete. Until next time. Very good. What else we got going on here in your little home? Anything of interest? She is sitting down with her back turned. Anything in the barrel? Take some salt. I'll always take some salt. Good for cooking. Now. I do believe she's hiding something. Yes, indeed. Physicalities of the Werewolf. Which is a book I would like to get it's with me. With you around. Oh, don't say that. Which I believe is just a regular book. But we got it. Alright, I'll leave the rest of her belongings be. I don't want to piss off a vampire. Is that a... Why is there skeleton parts at my location? Okay, let's pretend that's not a thing. But right now, let's talk birth sign stones. Currently, we have the mage stone, I believe, which trains our magicka skills, uh, based skills faster. But, not really magicka based skills, but the, the skills that are for a mage. You know what I mean. But over here, we have, I believe, 
crystal lady stone, which should, should serve us better. Plus, I do want to stop by all of these stones either way. So, the lady stone. Those under the sign of the lady regenerate health and stamina more quickly. Which sounds pretty nice to me. So, that feels pretty good. And then, of course, it's an achievement to get all of the stones. I got one of the torch bugs there. Have I eaten, like, torch bug thorax before? I haven't. Restore stamina. What a snack. Juniper berries. Weakness to fire. Very good. What's that? Sven? Sven. What do you see? I can take you. Oh. Yeah, no, let's 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 not mess with the slow. They're surrounding the water. Can we get back to shore? We gotta get back on the roads. Alright, let's not mess with slaughterfish for now. Mistfire bless me. Alright, Sven's keeping them busy while we make a swim for it. I remember Marina Mistfire's first time fighting slaughterfish. That was painful. It's truly painful. Are they following? That's no, fine. I'm not scared. I'm not worried. I'm just... Oh, there's salmon. Alrighty. Let's get back on the road again. Now, there is a little grove just south of us here. But I don't really feel strong enough to handle it. Groves in nature are generally guarded by some rather fierce creatures like bears or spriggans. We can take on one at a time due to powerful bash strategies and having Sven with us. I feel okay handling one. But when there's more than one, it gets a little dicey. So I think for now we are going to postpone that exact thing. We are instead just gonna walk along, enjoy the beautiful scenery and come up on the little shack right here. Where we have some... We have a hostile presence. Alright, Sven. What was that? Let's go make some friends. Here's Mimir. Hunters. Whoa! What have I done wrong? For some reason. I thought you guys were bandits or something. Okay, they're not a fan. They must have watched the earlier episodes and... Disagreed with my rules. Relax. It's my subjective take on 100%. It's... It's it's totally fine for you. Here's Mimir. <laughs> ah, burn. I'm just gonna crawl all over their roof. <laughs> torching their cabin. Alright, we're falling down. Okay. Okay, we are now stuck between a rock and a hard place and I don't have Sven. Oh boy. No, no, no. I need my I need my Sven. Oh boy. My support Sven. Oh! <gasps> Sven's here! Yes! Alright. There he is. My boy. My boy! Has arrived. Alright, let's get this there. Mm. I don't think we've killed hunters yet. I can't quite tell you why they were hostile. All I can tell you is that that was a beautiful kill, Sven. I might attribute the kill to you, but also we have a chance here. Alright, I'll wait for you to weaken her. And then I'm gonna try and go for the kill. Let me try to go for the kill. You know what? Count that as my kill. I helped. Bear pelts. I'll take. Uh, we're gonna take some gold. We're gonna take... Oh, some nice hats. Uh, some uh, iron arrows. Lock pick. Alright. Thank you, Sven. You don't always arrive in time, but you arrive eventually. And whose fault is that? My own. Iron arrows. Lock picks. Alright. What was it they were so aggressive about? Let's see. I must inspect this cabin right here. Venison. Taproot. At least we can borrow their things in peace. Gold, petty soul gem, potion minor magica, potion minor stamina, silver necklace. Father of the Nibbon! They were trying to keep this book from me knowing I was gonna come through. Alright. 
Sven? I've got your back. I need you to do something. All right. Sometimes you can just hold down the E key and get this prompt here to appear, but it doesn't always work for me, so I have to go into the menu sometimes to ask him to do stuff. Okay, got it. Can you get that? Thank you. Anything else? You're the best. Just a little, a quick breather here. A quick breather. You hear me mere panting still. Well, that was uh, Hunter's Shack. Definitely checked out. We're getting close to Moss Mother Cavern, where I believe... No, I know. The episode should end there for the time being. We've had a fun little... Mr. Fire bless me. Exploration streak out here in the woods. But all good things must come to an end. We can always pick it up in the next episode. So, Runel, what... That is frightening how you came ahead of me there. Runil has apparently lost his journal inside this cave, and so it is something that we must... Oh. Hello? You! Over here, please, I need help. Please, do you have a potion you can spare? Thank Kinnereth for you, stranger. I'd almost given up hope of walking away from here. Who are you? Name's Valder. I hunt out of Falkreath. We tracked a bear to this den. Good coin for those pelts. We had the big sow cornered when they showed up. Three of them, out of nowhere. Spriggins. Niels went down before we even knew to run. Ari died just inside. I never even thought the things were real. I may have lost a drop or two of blood. Truth is, I'm not going anywhere like this. Ah, hurts to breathe. I may have a potion to spare. I just need a little to get going. What's my cheapest potion? Much better. Thanks, friend. I wouldn't have lasted much longer without that. But now what? I can't just walk away. Not with my friend's bodies in there being torn apart by those beasts. I understand. Let me help you. You'd do that for a stranger? I don't know what to say. Lead on, I suppose. And with that, Valder has become our temporary companion. I could say that I'm just gonna do it myself, but honestly... All hands on deck, I say, if, I want, if I'm gonna fight a bear and three Spriggins. Next episode's gonna have a very, very rough start, but we're gonna wind down now with a little bit of reading. And the reason we're gonna read Lost Legends is because it starts a quest. So, if you have no interest in book reading, you may jump to the next episode, but if you do, I welcome you as we read Lost Legends of Skyrim. By Tulskar the Elder, Archivist of Winterhold. The history of Skyrim is vast, predating even the most ancient records of man and myrrh. Much has been lost, fallen to the ravages of war or the turning of the ages, but nothing is ever truly forgotten. Where no records exist, legends and folk tales offer us a key to the past, a way to piece together truths half remembered in the minds of men. For generations, the people of Morthal have told whispered tales of the Pale Lady, a ghostly woman who wanders the northern marshes, forever seeking her lost daughter. Some say she steals children who wander astray, others that her sobbing wail strikes dead all those who hear it. But behind these tales may lie a kernel of truth, for ancient records speak of Omriel, a mysterious figure, Iskramor's ears battled for decades and finally sealed away. Reachmen tell the story of Fowlan Red Eagle, an ancient king who rallied his people and drove back the armies of Cyrodiil with a flaming sword. Though accounts vary, they too seem to be based on an underlying truth. The Imperial Chronicles of Empress Hestra mention a rebel leader of that era, who was eventually cornered and slain in battle at the cost of a full legion of men. But some tales prove far harder to analyze. Among scholars, perhaps the best known is the forbidden legend of the Archmage Galder. In the dawning days of the First Era, the story goes, there lived a powerful wizard by the name of Galder. 
wise and just, he was well known in the courts of King Harold and the Jarls of Skyrim, and his aid and counsel were sought by man and Mur alike. And then he was murdered. Some say one of his sons killed him, others that King Harold, jealous of his power, gave the order. But Galdr's three sons fled into the night, pursued by a company of Harold's best warriors and the Lord Garmund, the king's personal battle mage. A great chase ensued from the wilds of the Reach to the glacial north. One brother is said to have perished in the ruins of Fulgunther at the foot of solitude. The others were run to ground soon thereafter. And once it was done, King Harold ordered every record of their murders destroyed, and Galdr's name and deeds were struck from the rolls of history. Even today, few sources remain, and no bard will tell the tale. But perhaps the truth yet remains in some ancient ruin, waiting to be unearthed. For nothing is ever truly forgotten. That was Lost Legends. And that starts Forbidden Legends, where we gotta investigate this Galdr legend. There might be something behind it. Now that's a goal for the future. But right now, I'm just happy standing here with... Uh, that's okay. Well, personal space, there we go. He's, he's such a quick learner. <laughs> standing here with my two companions. Both of whom I really hope survive the upcoming challenge. Well, guys and girls, I certainly hope you've enjoyed today's gloomy but adventurous episodes. We are coming up on some fearsome battles. We probably won't see town for quite a while now. It's just the wilderness and us and some deadly foes to face. So tune into the next episode when we face them. Have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody... Stay dark. Goodbye.